of the main themes is is borrowed from the Bach E major prelude, and the other one is the Dies Irae theme. And it's really fun to play this piece because the themes really contrast. And anyway, I hope you enjoy. that is dedicated to bringing together the best youth instrumentalists inside of the whole entire country, and they get them to play together on their radio show, um, which you can listen to, actually. Um, you can check them out on the internet at fromthetop.org, um, and you can also listen to them as well on SoundCloud and other radio platforms. So it's been great to play with her. She's been an amazing colleague. Uh, so now is my turn to take the stage for a solo, and I wanted to explain a little bit about what this piece is. The name of this piece is STOMP. Yes, S-T-O-M-P in all capital letters, and there's a good reason for that. First of all, this piece was written by Jean Corleano. Some of you may know that name because he was the person that wrote the soundtrack for The Red Violin, very famous film. I suggest you see it. Um, aside from that, though, People loved his music so much that they wanted him to write for competitions. Now, a while back in 2011, he was asked to write a modern piece that the competitors would play. Now, he had two options. Option one was to write a very lyrical essay filled with vibrato and intense musicality that every musician or artist should have. 
Or option two was to create a very short, technically challenging piece that features all of the standard virtuosic techniques of violin playing. This would include high G-string playing, high E-string playing, double stops and chords, and bariolages, which is when we cross the strings super fast. But he didn't like either of those options, so like a smart person, and believe me he is, he decided to create option number three, which was to combine the first two options into something that is truly marvelous. Now, this piece is called Stomp, so you're going to hear me stomp my foot throughout this piece. But aside from that, he introduces a really cool technical challenge called Scordatura, which is when a composer will oftentimes ask an instrumentalist in their sheet music that they use to play the piece to tune their strings up or down to the pitches that they want them to play at. So a normal violin comes with G, D, A, and E strings, but he decides to change the top two strings of the instrument. So instead of an E, he asks me to tune down my string to a half step to an E flat, which results in this sort of sound. Not something that you would hear every day. But if you think that's really interesting, he asks me to take my G string, the lowest string, excuse me, of my instrument, and asks me to tune it down to a low E, which sounds like this. Pretty uncommon, right? And the reason for this is because he was so inspired by fiddle playing, especially here in the South, um, which is why I was really passionate about being able to play this piece in this hall for all of you today. So thank you so much to all of you for coming out, and I hope you enjoyed my performance of John Corleano's Stomp.